Hello. Hi, welcome my cancer friends. How are you? For your clairvoyant alchemy reading for April 2017. Here we go. Second quarter, here we come, right? Well, the last reading I did was for Capricorn and we've been talking about all this lovey-dovey stuff. <laughs> And how the soulmates and the twin flames and soul partnerships, soul friends, whatever uh, you feel comfortable saying, and the angels, no doubt about it. This is something that I have. I'm gonna do this little angel. It's like six videos just towards this Easter because it's angels. Two of Cups, my favorite card out of the new deck that I'm, I'm working with. Uh, the Wild Unknown Tarot and another one, the Tarot Musha. Uh, but here we have, and this comes from the Witches Tarot, the Lovers. So, and I'm going to stand them strong, you know, for the whole time now because for the next few reads that, that come um, with the water and the air signs, I'm going to stand those two cards strong because that's the vibration that has been coming through. And let's let's just embrace it and say okay show us more all right so but um yes cancer and and this is the earth mother's moon and and if anybody's about the motherhood and the home and the family it's it's you cancer and you you are the fourth house of the zodiac sign so and and luna luna is your ruler okay luna's a satellite but she and you like that um, so, and it's the moon of form, it's a planting moon, here we are in the month of April, now we're in the, uh, northern, uh, hemisphere, and for all my southern hemisphere friends down under there, I love y'all, and I hope you go through a sweet autumn, and, you know, we're just going through the processes here, okay, feeling it all up, but here we are corresponding to the months of April and May, and, um, we have the magician. Uh, the herbs are basil, chives, dragon's blood, geranium. The colors are crimson, red, and gold. Stones, ruby, garnet, rose quartz. The animals are bear, wolf, and hawk. And I did want to bring out about just, I want to hi highlight Venus. Here she is, okay? But Demeter came out in the month of March twice, all right? And then the Lady of the Lake came out three times. So it's definitely the goddesses are trying to send a message home about fertility, you know, motherly relationships. Here we have um, Ceres is also known as the Roman goddess. Demeter was the Greek. But here we have the motherly relationship. So that's why I'm reading it to you, uh, my cancer friends, okay? And and this is about goddess energy, and I spell goddess many times, G-O-D slash D-E-S-S. -S. You know, there's that balance with the god and the goddess, and that's what makes them powerful, just like Venus and Mars, okay? They kind of balance each other up. But the energy medicine is to create and produce and change and have self-reliance, believing in yourselves, tempering emotional flare-ups, so stay calm, stay meditative. You know, go into that meditation time, taking advantage of that meditative opportunity to go within. Creative power is to define yourself and to measure, okay? And then on May 1 is a beautiful Celtic ceremony called the Beltane, which usually represents when heaven comes to earth. And it is another loving. It's, it's about the partnership as well. So, okay. So let's see, we're going to do a six card pull for this reading and I'm um, sending you lots of love and harmony, my sweet cancer friends. And I did want to share that with this reading for the Capricorn, they also received, this is a new deck that I'm working with, the Blessings, 64 Ways to Be Thankful Gratitude Cards by Julia Cameron. And this card, so I, this is all new to me. I haven't seen all these images, but I thought it was sweet how graceful good came through. And here we were receiving these cards. And then I brought these little tulips out. And so it's like the table is saying, yes, I anticipate the blessings hidden in all circumstances. 
Yes, therefore I surrender my need to control relationships and events. I open my heart to divine outcomes, divine timing. I allow my agendas to become divine agendas. Okay, so that's what we were sharing, that this is really a time where these uh, scenarios here are destined. So it's nothing that, you know, we have to get caught up in because it's going to happen by the divine will. You know, just keep you in check and they're keeping in check and then that's when it's checkmate. <laughs> okay, my dears, well, let's just pray. I pray for all the good. Remember, Love is law, love under will. All right, my darlings. So let's open this up. And um, let's see, Cancer, you're summer, summer. So let's open with your summer. Okay. Summer, south, noon, fall, west, sunset, winter, north, night, spring, east, dawn. Welcome energies of earth, air, fire, and water. Let us create a life of beauty, reverence, and wonder. With each season, let us rejoice through every phase of sun and moon. Let us be in harmony. In every direction shall we offer our love. So let the reading begin. Yes. Okay, and remember, have faith. Faith is an energy of your heart, right? Um, work with those chakras. Okay, so let's just, you know, let's just exhale out for the moment. It, it does help me. Like a fire dragon, just exhale strong. I'm wrecking your spine. Take a deep breath in here. I'm looking up. So, you know, the blossoms are here, new beginnings. Okay, well, I don't know how the King of Pentacles is standing up there. I don't know how that happened, but okay. <laughs> okay, that's a good sign, right? King of Coin is kind of took a peek out there. Oop, look at that, another peek out. Okay, here we have the three. The three of spades is here. So let's just concentrate on creativity, okay? Because sometimes this is an indecision. You know, like you're going through physical stress. Physical stress. Okay, so let's consider. That's why we were just sharing, opening up with going into that meditation time, you know, turning technology off, unless you just want to hear soothing, you know, meditative music like they do in, you know, yoga retreats and things like that. Okay, but be creative with your heart. Okay, don't, don't be, um, you know, stressing out, especially those who, who work like two jobs and things like that. I, I understand that that can you know, just weigh on you, but let's 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 stand this strong because of the fact that we have so much love coming through that just you know you believe in, in what's coming for you, okay? And that card just kind of popped out. So don't don't get caught up in too much worry. That's been another thing. Faith, faith. An energy of the heart, you know, make room for it, flow with it, okay? And uh, you know, pray to the ones, the beautiful ones, and you know, this is Jesus' time too, in the respect people, you know, speak of his resurrection, but you know, I I, I know he's a, a warrior, a spiritual warrior, and things are coming, so. That's why I'm trying to say that so much of this innate 
soulful love is coming. So you see, it's like they're saying, love you first. Okay, love your heart zone. Heal your heart zone from whatever sorrows. Remember, forgiveness, that's the other thing. That's why they're saying, do these angel videos. And there's only like six or seven of them, I think. But And, and the main theme is forgiveness. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. Okay, sometimes we can't let go of, you know, the ones who hurt us the most. Like, what? what you did to me, how, you know, and you keep going through it, and that's, that's not going to bring you that next wonderful soulmate at twin flame scenario when you're still in the past uh, with so-and-so or whatever zone, you know, it could be childhood abuse as well, you know, okay, but you, you need to be strong from your heart, open speaks of her child abuse, you know, she moves forward. It, 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 I'm sure it changed her forever, but we we go from within. We know who we are. We know we're here for a reason. So, and, and, and Oprah speaks about that every Sunday on her soul channel scenario there. So, you know, she's awakening. Everybody has a time. There's no, no fast paced with spirit everything is timing and and truly it is about and something like this is always about perfect timing okay so here we have the eight of swords now okay so here well eight's about power and success to me so it's like overcoming obstacles finally all right so no worries here at all you see you're you're going to go from that sorrow side and you're going to say, I'm, I'm going to develop into this. And, and the eight in Major Khan is the strength card, the, the lion's strength. So it's, it's saying, no worries, my princess. No worries, my prince. Things are coming. But you truly have to now know who you are, pretty much. This is like... Lessons of life. Lessons of life. See the cocoon? See the monarch butterfly ready to just... Ch -ch -ch. New beginnings. And that's been the whole theme for April is new beginnings. It's uh, April is the first sign or month of the zodiac sign with Aries leading Aries. The parade. So Aries leading the parade. So it's... um, And, and then the second quarter, you know... April is beginning the second quarter, and so I encourage all of you to really, you know, and we, we here we have Easter coming, um, Sunday, <laughs> Passover, 420, Earth Day, New Moon, in Taurus, Full Moon in the Libra, it's, it's all heavy, 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 and it's like cosmic heavy, and spiritual heavy, and religious heavy. You know, religious with, with the Jesus theme. So let's see what happens coming here. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Beautiful. A wheel of fortune is what is going on. Wonderful. Wow, I didn't expect that to come through. The 10 wheel of fortune. Beautiful. See the rainbow colors? And that's another thing. Remember, we are all energetic matrixes, you know, revolving around about all this electromagnetic energy within us. And that's why sometimes, and that's what like the twin flame thing is. Like right away, woo, because you're coded to know it, you know. But even even with other people, you get along with because you you uh, align with the same kind of things. But how nice. But here we have that Wheel of Fortune coming. That Wheel of Fortune coming. And and we are in this Libra, uh, uh, excuse me, Jupiter in the Libra, which is all about that luck, growth, expansion. So don't give up on you. Have that strength, the cocoon. You're just resting. Take that meditative time. Go within. Even if you're new to spirituality and you're watching this video for the first time, this is what I encourage you. You know, if your heart is like, I know there's something else out there. I mean, it has to be. 
you know, you're, you're going into the alchemy of your seven senses, going into your main, you know, seven chakra centers, and you're going to talk about, you know, that survival mode, that sexual, sensual mode, and that power mode, and that love heart zone mode, okay, and communicating with intuition about spirituality. How beautiful. Look at this. The King of Swords comes through right after the Wheel of Fortune. This is fabulous. The King of Swords, we talk about him. He's the King of Kings, okay? All male active. And actually, uh, it's it's like he's, he's all about it because he's so mentally alert. He's clear conscious all the way. Clarity. Nobody can, you know, he can slice and dice every word you say because you can't BS the king of swords, okay? You just count. And he is the the king of kings in the court um, ranks. So, you see, you have to become your own badass, have clear wit, um, not not to judge others, but to be have that clarity that if someone's talking, you know, the the nonsense towards you, you know how to shut them down. And nothing wrong with that because, you know, people sometimes, the older you get, you are you really don't want to waste nonsense with people <laughs> too much. Okay. It's like you, you kind of shut them down. Okay, so now we see transformation totally in the air for the Capricorn reading, the 13, lucky 13 as I like to call it also arrived showing that death transformation is 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 coming it's it has to be you know it has to have that that power okay and that power and that death transformation can lead to that the sexual power as well this death card is about scorpio and they rule the sex scenario and but you have to really change now what do you want do you still want one night stands or do you want a true love? Where are you? What do you, you know, consider happening here? And and that we're reading for you, Cancer. Obviously, you want that true love because you're the mama, okay? You're the nurturer and you feel everything. And as the water signs, uh, uh, excuse me, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, we're the most intuitive and the psychic because of the emotions. That's what our intuition is. You have to go within your emotions. That's why we suggest a, a meditative time every day or, or take a little meditative time bef before you nod off to sleep. It's just, and you have to remember in the ancient times, once nightfall came, all they had was a little fire pit, okay, and the stars, but it put them in that, you know, night, 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 it's night, night time. Everybody had a body cycle via how, what's going on with the night and the day, but here we can stay alert on YouTube and all 24 hours, so we're, we're, our body gets thrown off, and chemically that can mess us up. The gray whale. To give and receive genuine love brings a gift of happiness. Okay. I'm not very familiar with this card, but hey, how lovely. To give and receive genuine love brings a gift of happiness. And I, I'm telling I'm telling you for the rest of the readings here, for the water and the air signs, I'm I'm leaving these two cards up. That's my theme. So this is beautiful. We'll read it from the book. Let me pick up the other card here. The Nixie. Your soul will build what it is trained to expect. Okay, well, that's another deep one. Holy moly. Well, let me pick this card right here. I got to turn my face because the words, you can see everything. So I don't want to see a phrase and I, you know, pick it up because I like it. But let's just turn and we'll, we'll read these last three and know that. Uh, love is on the table for you, Cancer. Oh, and new loves has already come through as well for uh, this month. So I think it was the monthly reading ended with this card. And it reads, I give thanks for my new friendships. I welcome my new loves, my new acquaintances, 
knowing that we have intersected as part of a higher plan. I extend my heart and my hand to new people and new events, welcome, welcoming them home to their place in my world. Okay, so see, I just, this is a new deck for me, so I just received it. But let's read the mermaids first. So transformation is coming, and it seems like it's a love transformation, but first love you first, okay? Release the past. We're into the second quarter of 2017, so now it's about you recreating yourself. If you're, you've are you been through an emotional upheaval, and even if you are a happily married cancer person with happy family, listen, you know, we all know that everybody goes through sorrows, so... And you never know when it will have it, but that's that's when you come into this healing scenario place when when you have your family and your loved ones near you, then the healing is always there because love heals. That love is all that matters, and I totally believe that love can heal the phantom force. I do, not the demons, but the lost souls. To give and receive. Okay, we just and the next. Okay, so let's read these because the gray whale is coming with some nice message here about really considering this kind of oh, it's called greatness. Okay, well, wow. So we have now the greatness card. Prepare a warm welcome and clear the coast. The gray whale that will swim up to humans and allow people to approach predicts that someone is curiously advancing. <laughs> Look at that. You may begin a new relationship, project, change location, job, or course of education. Creating. Look at this. Creating. See, we're going to exit from that past because there's a wheel of fortune coming here. Right, and you're going to have that clear, conscious, mental clarity like a king of kings would, king of swords. Okay, creating a long-lasting effect and shaping your future for many years to come. You will go far in life, so push yourself. Nothing is beyond your expectations. Since the migration of a gray whale, is the greatest scene in any mammal. 25,000 miles from winter to summer, ground and back. A holiday and travel aboard is forecast by it living along the coast, wallowing in just two and a half feet of water. <laughs> okay, so, and you can do that in your bathtub and put some sea salt in it, right? Because the whales all about the salt oceans. Well, my darling, here we have this love scenario again. I, I'm, like I said, I I speak of love on this channel, but that's so much, you know, and it's it's a past life that you will recognize each other because this it's a soul to soul connection. Whether whether it's a partnership, uh, friendship, soul to soul, like you start a new business and you guys just take off, you know, like Ben and Jerry's or something like that. That's on the table as well. So just go within, start going within and, and, and talking. Like, I want to meet my soul fam. I want to meet them. I want to meet my soul friends, you know. And it can take five minutes, five hours, five months, five years. But just know that, you know, it's, it's like even this YouTube channel, you know. <laughs> Did I expect so many people were open to it? And, and no, I didn't. But it's lovely to see that we are. Okay, now the Nixie stands for versatility. Your soul will build what it's trained to expect. And see, we talk about how we're all coded. Our birth date and our where we were geographically birthed, you know, our, our location of our birth is very crucial to who you are. And, 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 of course, your parents' codes, too. The Nixie, a dweller of wealth, symbolic of the soul, femininity, and rescue, predicts success in making the most of your potential. 
Like purified water, you will be focusing clearly on re revitalizing yourself. And here we have this transformation, revitalizing, having that strength, okay? Because the wheel of fortune is here. Just keep moving. Transform, transform. You may be entering the early stages of a situation in which you need to see through a person lying to exploit you. Once you see the light of truth, a person's power over you is lost and they suffer the consequences. Intuitively knowing the truth, your mind cheerfully and easily adjusts to change. To stay on would go against your beliefs. Remain in touch with the dawning of a new phase and avoid disruption. Okay, and see we have the death card here. This is about disruption as well. Okay, this is about disruption and danger. So danger, danger, Will Robinson, you know, it's time to to release the exit from this sorrowing past because it's the wheel of fortune and the you're gonna have the clarity to know that you know and the air sign think about that Pegasus flying in the air and that's all about intuition the Pegasus total intuition okay so like the Nixie who can assume any shape, you will be reinventing yourself. There you go. You will be reinventing yourself. Think about the Pegasus. Reorganizing ambitions and home concerns. Practicality or emotionally, you will discover a new link intended for you because the well is the symbol of the astral cord that connects a person to spirit. There you go. Practicality or emotionally, you will discover a new link intended for you because the well is a symbol of the astral cord that connects a person to spirit. And just like a baby is connected to the you know, umbil umbilical cord to its mama in its water womb. Okay, a new source of life full of adventure, excitement, and romance is about to quench your thirst for higher knowledge. Oh my goodness. Okay, so see, we want to go through this higher knowledge scenario to file that, to seek and have that divine companion come through for us. Let's see what this is. I count myself fortunate to be my own companion on life's journey. Oh, this one already has come through. I am interested by my thoughts and perceptions. I am conscious of the many gifts I bring to living. My stamina, my humor, my perceptivity, and my integrity. Very nice. And this card has already come through, okay? So now we have a double whammy. That's to say, believe in you, okay? Truly, believe in you. Become, you know, think of yourself just, you got to travel 25,000 miles to get to your soul purpose, but soul purpose will be achieved. Okay, and we have melody. The song of life is infinite and variable. Its melodies and harmonies hold infinite possibilities. I am both the listener and the song. I am both the composer and the note. Okay, so you see how the balance, the balance is there, uh, going within. Uh, I don't know how some of you, if you can hear music in the background or lyrics. It's very intriguing, but for sure. So, all right, my sweet cancer friends. Well. Um, yes, and even if you're married, this love is meant to be then. I mean, you know, no matter what happens in life, there's always good and there's always a downturn. However, that's what is the glue stick, right? <laughs> the gorilla glue is love. So keep that love alive for all you do. But just know that something is here destined for all of us. Even if you're single or haven't dated in a long time, there's someone coming. So don't just work on you and, uh, and let it happen, okay? All right, my darlings. I hope all have a wonderful April 2017. And you cancer, look up to this Luna, okay? And um, you know, walk by a body of water if you can. Add a full moon. You know what I mean. All right. Take it easy. Have a lovely job.